for three minutes. Mr Button has the floor. Mr President, uh, Tunisia's situation uh, is overall a positive one, it seems. Uh, they have the most stable society in North Africa. Uh, they have a, technically a democracy, uh, but possibly only a semi-democracy by Western standards. But we shouldn't criticise them for that since they've made much progress. There is an official policy of working towards full democracy. And Tunisia is a stable society with a high level of personal security. Uh, this has been achieved by the suppression of their Islamist extremists and communists, which is a price worth, uh, well worth paying. Its official policy is of, of pursuing cultural unity, the creation of one nation. A lesson that many European countries, including mine, the United Kingdom, could well learn from. Economically, the, they are progressing. Only 7% of the population is below the poverty line. It has one of the best health standards for countries of North Africa uh, with a relatively high life expectancy. Politically, their constitution limits the number of seats a party can hold in the Chamber of Deputies, with 20% of seats being reserved for minority parties. This looks positive, positively enlightened when compared to the first-past-the-post political system, electoral system, used in the United Kingdom, uh, which, in my opinion, is a conspiracy against the voter to keep the Conservative and Labour parties in and everybody else out. So maybe we should learn something from the Tunisians. Uh, speaking of the uh, UK, uh, my party, the UK Independence Party, came in for some criticism from some Islamic extremist and uh, supposed liberal quarters last week when we proposed a plan that people's faces should be uncovered in public buildings and in private buildings if they so wish to impose such a condition. But look at what Tunisia did. Law number 108 bans the hijab, which goes much further than anybody else has proposed. The religious affairs minister, uh, Abu Bakr Akzuri, has slammed the hijab as running counter to the country's, quote, cultural legacy, unquote, considering Islamic dress as, quote, a foreign phenomena, unquote, in society. Well, that's very interesting to come out of an Islamic country. The more I find out about Tunisia, the more a positive impression it makes. And, but I've seen some figures which said uh, that 70 million euros is to be spent on key projects in the EU neighbourhood scheme. My constituents, who are some of the poorest in London, cannot afford that kind of expenditure. We want trade, friendship and cooperation with Tunisia, but not at the price of uh, robbing the taxpayer in the UK. Let's help them increase their democracy and develop prosperity. And if they'd like to take some free advice, keep well away from the European Union and preserve their freedom and independence. Thank you.